I was like diehard sport bike. Like I never need a cruiser. Like I'm going to ride a sport bike till I'm 80, which I think I still will. But uh, I realized quickly how much more enjoyable longer trips can be when you have a bike that's suited more for that. Hi, I'm Lince from Fort County Moto, and this is my VLX project. So I started with my front fender. Uh, I needed to keep a bit of a front fender, um, but I wanted it to be a lot smaller. So I taped off the parts that I was going to cut just to see what the overall shape was and then got out my good old uh, angle grinder and just hacked them off, rounding them up. Took a couple tries to make sure they were even. I'm a fairly symmetrical person, so I wanted to make sure that it looked good. My tank is still the stock tank. Did a bit of body work to it and sent it over to Jamie at Savage Customs. He did all the metal flake on the bike. Three kinds of crazy. That's kind of a nickname of mine, so that's what I wanted this bike to be. Uh, the other side looks a little bit different, so it kind of plays off my three kinds of crazy theme. And then I wanted to just get rid of as much chrome as possible. So I taped and painted my headlight I got rid of the stock bars, just went with some window bars from TC Bro. I'm used to more aggressive um, bike styles. So for it to be like a comfortable cruiser, I wanted some more upright handlebars. So that's why I went with those. I got rid of the breather uh, as well as the fuel pump. My exhaust. I didn't like either because it was just all chrome. So I took the Sawzall and just hacked off my mufflers. Everybody told me I was crazy because they looked really, really nice, but I did not like them. So use the Sawzall, cut those off, wrap them in some purple heat wrap, um, and then put them back on. Blue Collar Bobbers uh, helped me out with a back fender. It looks great. It's really nice and low to the tire. Um, it mounts perfectly in between my mono shock. Uh, and then I needed to take care of my turn signals. Uh, I cut those off with my subframe. So we needed to make tabs and weld them into the frame. So I was able to mount them so you could still see them. Uh, and it looked really, really nice on the bike. And then my license plate, again, it was on the subframe, which got taken out. So um, there's a plate on the other side that we were able to mount to the swing arm. We put a TC Bros sissy bar on the back, um, mocked it up, welded in the bungs, welded in the tabs um, so we could mount it properly with the back fender. And then I was able to put a sissy bar on the back, which helps with my luggage capacity for doing my trips. I was amazed at how much stuff came off of it and it looks a thousand times better now with without all of that stuff. It's neat to know how you can remove so many components and yet still make something function. I guess it works in life too. You just you realize how much how much stuff you you don't need. Having a really comfortable bike that you can strap your gear to and ride for hours at a time is is great. It there's nothing like it. Get me to stop dreaming about choppers, shovel heads.